Beispiel. Dann God, he's passing gas. He's snoring. Sounds like he's snoring. Hey, Dodger. You tired? Tired, buddy. Hey, y'all. This is Juice Bells Calls Me Hunted. We are working on a, another chicken coop. We're trying to move our chickens from our old coop to this coop to have them more in a shaded area and to give them away and out of the garden. So, we'll be doing with that today and I build a chicken coop. I need to check on the coop. Oh, I can't really see you, so I gotta get this for a little. Why we decided to use the fence boards because it's yeah, cheaper, cheaper than. Okay, so we got all of these dog ear fence boards from Jack's uh, Lumber in Wiggins, Mississippi. So we're supporting local. We're trying to do more local shopping and we did the floor so so it's 244 per board for six foot at, at the moment there's two four six eight ten twelve thirteen boards about 35 dollars just for the floor without buying treated uh plywood flooring which makes it like it has kind of like a hardwood floor look which is kind of go nice. to jack's lumber and we're going to tell eddie or say, is Eddie here? Say, Goss Maggie Homestead sent you. We use these patio timbers, landscape timbers um, from Lowe's because they're only like $5.50 each versus $10 a two by four by eight treated. But we found out that Jax has the two by fours for maybe just a dollar more, which isn't bad, but this will just be really sturdy. I'm trying to do that to save money, not spend $10 every two by four. Right there. So this mark lined up with that one. This one. All right. Go 
And then we got nesting boxes. We got a finished side in the bottom. The box. And lift it and check it instead of going in the coop. Y'all, it's hot today. Shallow tail butterflies off our parsley slash uh, cilantro in our garden, and the kids get to watch them hatch. Or I guess come out of their cocoons. This one came out of their cocoon this morning. I just See, there it is. In there. There you go. All right, hold on. And he's gonna let it go. Hold me focus. It's gonna take a minute for it to kind of like realize it's out where it's at. Bye bye. bye. It left early. We got one left. There's one last one. Make sure the stick doesn't get on it. There's that one. Not videoing much, but we got the nesting box. So they're about, this is four foot wide, so about a foot each. You probably could make it a little wider and only do like three at like a foot and a half. Um, I'm making this. This is dog gear fence boards. Makes pretty like cabin look for any like little shed. We did that on our tree house. I'll link that above here. So, that's what we got so far. That's inside the nesting box area. We plan on adding onto this end later. So this is the side. So all I gotta do is the roof, the back, and the door, which is the front area. tractor I've been working on this so it's kind of nice to have, be able to do two different things and get stuff done Though. Lila's helping me with the screen. I'm gonna make it to where I could shut it during the winter, like have like a little shutter or something on it. So it shuts like little shutters during the winter and you can open it when you need to. And I'm gonna put like a vent in the back window. This is one side. That's mainly where the chickens are gonna be at. This is the other side, that's where the boxes are. I'm gonna do a door, I think. A temporary pull-up door in the door. So, that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna show you how I figured up to make this homemade chicken door. This is gonna be the door. So I have these boards. This one's a little wide, but it already has these notches. These are the boards that they put underneath pallets. And that pallets they put underneath, these are the boards they put underneath like four by eight sheets of plywood or um, you know stacks of lumber. Sometimes Lowe's will give them to you for free or sometimes you have to pay. But um, I had some of these. So I mounted it to the door. I cut, you just have to estimate what you want to do. So I cut the Daddy's boards so and it drops down. And when you make it to where it can lift up. So how the tractor thing go? Still leaks, huh? Yeah, I like it. So I worked on this. He worked on the tractor. Didn't get to where he wanted. I didn't get to where I wanted. We wanted. I wanted to get this done in 
today so I could put the chickens in, but we could do that this week. So it's got a little window. Yeah, I'll be working on it more this week. I gotta take a break from it and aggravate it. I uh, did a window here for ventilation, and I'm going to do a little shutter so when it gets bad weather, I could shut it. The back's not done yet because it's against the cow yard. I made this cool little door. Get Robin to show you. We got to hook it up. It's not hooked up yet. So if you could see, it's got this divider and slide. So here you go. Gotta put an eye here. I'm going to put an eye somehow in the string. Uh, there we go. If you put an eye here, you can come up put an eye here. And figure out how and to run it over the door. It should be all right. Just to, and we're going to hook it somehow to let them out. Just put it right here. No, yeah. it won't raise it up high enough. It should. Oh, you going to come down here. Bought these. Trying to get, it's a weird little watch, latch system. I might have to get something stronger. But there's that. Gotta put a roof on it. I wanna trim it. Yep, coyotes. I wanna trim it. So I really like the way it turned out. Fish, I guess. It's cows. Cows are fussing. We heard coyotes do. Look how dirty I am. That's cute. It's a coop coop. Kinda jealous of how the dog pin and the coops come out. Why you want something? I need something to work in, a shop, a building, or something. <laughs> He's all scruffy today. His back's I hurting. I need to do a vacation today, get some stuff done. Yeah. It didn't work out like I wanted to, but it is what it is. He did get some stuff. He just got to figure out how to get the seal to seal. I'm going to post a video, but I'm not going to post a video until it's right. So he worked on a tractor and I worked on this. I'm going to show you how I did this. This is all treated dog eared fence boards. So, you know. And we found yeah. a place that has it differently like treated so they don't warp so much and they got a smoother finish than the rough cut finish. Mm hmm. Really like it. Try and to do local some more. Place huh? and rather than... Yeah, I'll tell you where I got it from in the video. And then we're going to get. Probably a whole bunch of them, so we can have them in stockpile. So we just, just she does everything out of these things. So it's cheaper. It really is kind of. Well, it was like technically, just the dog ears to do this and the floor was two hundred dollars. That's good. And then we're gonna build. Listen. Here. Listen. Y'all hear? Back, back there. Oh, they're moving. I hear them. They're getting behind our cows. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? I know where it is. Shh, straight back. Hold his hand, leave it to him quiet. Robin's gonna go stand all closer. The cows, our neighbor in the very back has some cows and they, they are not too happy right now. They might be getting agitated by them. Shh, hush. Stay hush for a minute. Y'all, sometimes the they're too close for comfort for me. I've never seen them. We uh, hear them. <sighs> so, if Willie's watching this, this is little Daredevil. Liam, say hi. Get down. Get down, please. Oh, hi. Get in. I'm going to make them fussy. Again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, I'm going to show you it completed. And I didn't get the video, like, put the stand on much. I got to go back to. I got these hinges at Walmart when I had it put here, but I had to use it for the door so I could finish the door. This is the coop box. And I'm gonna get another hinge and it'll be done. I might trim it out a little bit in the front though. Okay, so I'm cutting the wire for a vent 
basically in the back instead of going all the way up i decided to leave one board at one board out to put some of this wire to let airflow go in so cutting that gap in that i have better cutters than this but this is what i got right now okay y'all so i was able it was meticulous to do this. We did it. The way we're trying to put this against this uh, cow yard was to fence over the fencing, but I couldn't do that. So we had to just squeeze the boards, squeeze the boards in the back. And right now I'm making a breather spot. So when I get done with this, I'm going to screw this boards to this so that it pulls tight and it creates airflow. So that's what I'm doing right now. side and screw it closed. How y'all doing? Well, my favorite puppy just got sold and well I'm, I was crying about her because she was my favorite but I drew this for her. I drew her as a, pu a puppy with her dog house and it says Lexi loves you. That's what it says. Lexi loves you. She's over there. Wait, wait. Fix this. You have to move it. Hmm? She's right here. <laughs> so I'm screwing these to this board that I just put in there, these boards. I just stepped in count. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the cattle yard and we actually have to make more room for the cows. Dodgers probably can come over here and see me. Nope, they're laying down. So I trimmed the edges on the front. I took a dog ear, split it in half, and made the trim. Open it slightly. Alright, put it in there. Let me put mine in. Alright, let him put his. Alright. Let me put mine in there. Go, 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 go. Yeah, throw up. Good job. Alright, back up. She just put it in there. Back in there. Back in there. Back in there. No. Back in there. No. Alright, my Lexi. Go in there. Mm 
Hi, all 29 girls moved. 29. We have six males that I'm trying to downsize. And there's our new sign. We're going to head in. They're next to the cows now. Okay. So. All right. Okay, y'all. Robin helped me do the roof. It's finished. Other than stapling the paper to keep the nest box dry, this is their little door. It hooks like so. So I didn't have to buy a two hundred dollar door. Open it up. The nest box and the rooster's on the other side. Shut it. This is a little garden little box I was trying to do, but it's done. Glad it's done. I'm so trying to move them, and I'm probably going to keep most of my roosters over there. You see, bring the rooster that I want over here. Until then, I have to uh, set the boxes over here. Mm. Got a new sign. Right now and bring a bucket. Mm. Open it up for him. Got a new box. Charlotte, this is going to keep them drier. I got to get a stapler and staple it. I feel it. I'm excited. So Don't the kids wait. can collect eggs more in the evening. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm about to put this sign up. This is Just count your blessings and your eggs. Mm.